Oh, hey, how's everybody doing? Uh, good to be back with you guys. Uh, yay, football's back, right? And yeah, the Browns freaking lost again. <laughs> they got stomped, dude. Oh, it was horrible, horrible. One of my buddies out there is a big Baltimore fan. I, I, I want to thank him and pass along my respects for him not rubbing it in my face yesterday. Uh, anyway, uh, we had spoke uh, a few weeks back about seeing the increase uh, in prices on certain items and blah, blah, blah. Uh, in particular in building supplies and lumber, things like that, right? Um, somebody had told me about lumber going up and I had a little project, so I was checking prices and darn it, he was right. Yeah, prices had gone up quite a bit. Uh, so I was speaking to uh, another buddy of mine the other day. He does remodeling, that's what he does for a living. And uh, he is uh, preparedness minded as well. And I was just asking him, you know, how's business going? You know, are you seeing the same price as we are? Blah, 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 all that. And he is slammed with work, he said. Uh, he is just, he doesn't really, you know what, I can't say. I was going to say he's just a smaller independent guy, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. I know that he does all of his own quotes. He does all the own work, all that kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, but yeah, he is talking about how he is just absolutely slammed like he had I believe he said uh, to write up 13 quotes in like one day or something like that for 13 different customers or per prospective customers um, and I'm like man even with the price of lumber and everybody's still doing things like this huh uh, he said yeah and if we're all being honest typically the people that hire somebody to do work on their home don't doesn't know what the price of a two by four is to begin with so they that they probably don't don't realize that lumber right now is outrageous but he said he's getting a lot of people uh, to do work on reinforcing their windows and their doors uh, yeah he's getting uh, jobs about yeah putting like bars over the windows and stuff so, uh, yeah, even the uh, regular folk out there kind of feel like, like something's happening. Something's going, something's, something's got to give, right? Uh, but, yeah, he said that's uh, a ton of his work is that. It's not refinishing somebody's bathroom or kitchen or remodeling their bathroom or kitchen, rather. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's about people wanting to strengthen the security of their homes um and if you're watching this channel you're probably like the rest of us you know you're uh preparedness minded you know you're you're into that so you've probably been paying attention you've probably been taking care of stuff stocking up on stuff uh, but yeah it's crazy how people that probably i would say just a year ago uh would have uh, would have never thought about doing the things that they're thinking of doing now okay uh, I told you guys the other day about a buddy of mine he's getting into preparedness and I can recall that uh, he was around when me and another guy were talking you know about preparedness and stuff and this was a few years back and, uh, and he wasn't being rude or anything, but you know, he was just listening. He was letting us do our thing and didn't really uh, think twice about it. Uh, but now he's seeing that, uh, yeah, that this might not be such a bad idea. Um, it's funny that uh, the first video I've ever made on this channel, and I've spoke about it before, is uh, the very first video is how we're going to be getting a lot of new preppers, right? A lot of new preparedness-minded people. Um, and that was just at the, 
I don't know, I think it was like midpoint of old Corona. Uh, so a lot of the other craziness hadn't even started yet. Uh, but yep, normal folks, since we're all Abbey normal because we're crazy prepper people, uh, normal folk are, are even starting to uh, see the writing on the wall, right? And they're starting to uh, take care of things too. Uh, I am going to pass along a tip that uh, my buddy who does the remodeling, uh, he told me the other day, so I'll pass it along to y'all. Uh, he was telling us that um, if we have any plans for getting uh, plywood OSB, for those of you who don't know, the wood that comes in the big sheets, okay? Uh, if we're planning on getting any of that for windows, doors, things like that, and in the event something happens, in the event event happens, right? Something like that. Uh, better go ahead and do it now. Um, he's he's seeing uh, this trend of uh, as far as the lumber. He said even nails and screws are starting to get hard to come by. Uh, he said you might want to go ahead and get it now. If you got some place to stick it, just buy it and put it someplace. And he actually recommended don't don't even cut it. Um, that way, if here in a few months um, things have not gone completely bonkers, uh, then most of the uh, home improvement stores you can return that stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'll pass that along to you guys. If you guys had any plans of boarding up windows and doors and all that other good stuff. Uh, and you were going to be using plywood, go ahead and get it. Um, I am not planning on doing that. <laughs> uh, I'm taking a different route. For years, I've wanted to get a sawmill, a lumber mill. Well, I do not have an extra three, four grand laying around, okay? You can get a cheap one, cheapy cheap one, uh, new for like 2,500 bucks, okay? And that's a uh, the bandsaw style, okay? Um, I've seen the Alaskan chainsaw mills for years, and I'm like, you know what, that might be the ticket. Um, but even with that, a cheapy one of those, you're talking 100 bucks, a whole lot better than 2,500, three grand though, right? Uh, I ended up getting this uh, little doodad and I'm hoping to uh, do a video with it here before too long and show you guys. It's just a cheap, it's a real basic uh, making lumber, but this is not, uh, this is all going to be rough cut. Okay, rough, rough cut. This is not going to be, okay, I can build an armoire out of this. No, 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 no. This is rough cut just to make lumber. Uh, but yeah, this little thing, it uh, you clamp your chainsaw to it. It's not an Alaskan chainsaw mill. Those things are kind of sweet. Uh, but this was, this thing, it was made by a company called Timber Tough. Uh, a lot of you guys probably have seen them, heard about them. I've seen them for a couple years. And I'm, I'm just like, man, I don't know. <laughs> But it's like $22, $25 I saw different places. So I went ahead and, and picked one up and we're gonna be uh, giving it a whirl here. And I'm not gonna go into right now all the different things on how to use it. I'll hopefully have a video and show you guys and, and I'll give you my, uh, my input. Uh, as far as squaring up timbers, yeah, I think it'll do all right. Uh, as far as cutting, uh, a thousand linear board feet of two buys. Yeah, I mean, I guess as long as you keep a chain sharp and uh, you got plenty of fuel and bar oil for it, I guess maybe. But uh, but yeah, we're, we're going to do some testing, and uh, I'll let you guys know how it does as far as uniformity. Uh, what in the world is this kid's going crazy? kids are nuts anyway 
uh, but I'll let you guys know about that. But anyway, that's why I got into this is no, I'm not planning on buying plywood. Um, our property camp, for those of you that watch this channel, uh, we got a bunch of trees. <laughs> we got all different kinds of trees. Uh, we've got a bunch of poplar. Uh, poplar technically is a hardwood, but it's real soft. Any of you that have done any uh, woodworking projects where you're needing something that's easy to cut and everything, poplar is real light. Um, but we're going to be uh, trying him out on some poplar because we got a bunch of it. Uh, we've got a couple old buildings out there that were constructed by previous owner um, and who knows how old they are 80 100 years old I don't know no it never painted nothing and the boards are still there so we're, we're poplar is pretty good wood uh, it's lightweight though so as far as construction we'll, we'll see how she goes but uh but yeah even uh i'll wrap it up here even the normal folk are uh are starting to get uh, a little edgy okay so keep that in mind if uh housing sorry building supplies right now are running off the shelves for whatever reason if people are normal people yeah are wanting their doors and windows more secure uh yeah that's it's not out of the realm of possibility that they're going to be out there stocking up too so don't wait till the last second okay you wait till the last second you're going to be like that guy didn't get any toilet paper back in april or whatever it was right so just uh try to think ahead if these things are already starting to happen think about what else could happen so with that thanks a lot guys we'll talk to you after a while